is about half, or probably more likely a third, of a paper. And you're quite welcome to, to take a copy. Um, it, it stops around about the time that Bill Gates' video came out, which is about just over six weeks ago now. I'd encourage you to try and get hold. It's on the, it's on the Irish site, I noticed the other day. Um, but you can, you can download it fairly easily from the TED site. Um, but I'd encourage you to get hold of, uh, of Bill Gates' Uh, video because on it there's a, a, a teacher of the year from um, 2010, an English teacher in, um, in, in America, um, and she um, did a whole series of, of, of ideas about using flip cameras. So that's how the, how she's improved her own practice, and she's the teacher of the year from 2010. So it must be uh, having some benefit to that. Um, the other thing that I'd, I'd encourage you to have a look at if you get a chance is the Observer Project. The Observer Project is, uh, is, is run by um, a group of really cracking researchers in, um, in Munich, in, in Germany. And what they've done, they've put up a whole series of, of videos onto the Observer system. I'm just going through these things really quickly. Um, and you can watch the videos yourself. I'm not going to do it now. Let's just see if we can get to very quickly. You can get to, to writing it up. And then, one of the things that is really powerful, all the things that Gary had said that the, the German researchers have already done or are, are doing, and, and you know that's brilliant from the point of view of reflective practice, I'm really interested in that. But what they have done as well is to create a whole series of, of follow-up activities where they use the, the video to, to, um, to think about different types of practice, different types of things about classroom management, different types of things about student questioning. And their idea is to, is to make the, the use of the video even more productive. Because it's not just the tool. If you, if you read their paper, it was published about two, two weeks ago in Instructional Science. Um, if you read their paper, it's absolutely brilliant about the fact that it talks about situative learning and cognitive learning. And the two types of, of approaches that they get people to think about, particularly student teachers, in terms of how they, how they can look at noticing in the classroom. And if you want more information, it's in my paper, but if, if you want more information about noticing and in the moment noticing, John Mason is the guy who's just written a really good paper in the Canadian Journal of Maths and Science. Okay, and he's brilliant. He's, he's at Oxford University and the Open University as well. 